Andrew Sullivan wrote in the Intelligencer that his smartphone broke him and it might break you too. The, the device you have that seems so useful and so helpful, well, sometimes you can't enjoy life without it. That for Andrew, the incessant number of pings and messages and ways that he had to keep interacting with them, he became very successful online, built up this business, had all of these online friends. But it took such a toll on his health trying to live an alternate life, a digital life, a virtual one, that it became such a stress on him that when he went to his doctor, his doctor asked him, have you survived HIV to die of the web? For Andrew, the only thing he had to do was to let go. He had to let go of the smartphone life, the digital life, the virtual life, and actually find real, lasting friendships because the dopamine rush of social media will work for a while, especially as Andrew Sullivan does. And you can research him. You can see the heights from which he's fallen. You can see the blessings that it gives, but they're really fool's gold. The dopamine rush doesn't last forever. We need something more lasting than likes and thumbs ups in the world. Psalm 132, O Lord, remember David and all the hardships he endured. This psalm is a psalm of ascent, something someone would sing and speak as they're going to worship. And that doesn't seem like the great start to worship, remember David and all of his hardships, but isn't that why we go to worship? Isn't that one of the reasons, because of our hardships, because of our difficulties, because we, we think we're going to get rich quick or life is gonna go a certain way and it, it never does, does it? The blessing of going before the Lord and saying, remember all of these servants of yours, David and others, remember me and all of our hardships. And yet you're still there. So they're to bless, still there to provide, still there to have communion and fellowship with us. Our digital world, that's fake. That'll all evaporate so quickly. But you are always there for us. The pleasure of going to worship and saying, remember his hardships, my hardships, and yet you're still there for me a place I can worship you and be with you forever.